Hi everyone. In the last video of our course, we will discuss about some shortcuts. We know that 453 equal to 4 times 100 plus 5 times 10 plus 3. So we can write our number as n equal to a b c. So a times 100 plus b times 10 plus c. When we multiply by 11, then our number become n times 11 equal to a times 1000. Plus a plus b times hundred plus b times c times ten plus c. Let's prove this. Ten times n equal to a times thousand plus b times hundred plus c times ten. Now we know that n equal to a times hundred plus b times ten plus c. After adding both equation, we get ten times n plus n, which is equal to A times thousand plus B times hundred plus A times hundred plus C times ten plus B times ten plus C. So after adding, we get our answer. And when we subtract both equations, we get nine times n, which is equal to A times thousand plus B minus A times hundred plus C minus B times ten minus C. Now rule for six. We know that is equal to half of ten plus one. When we multiply six with our number, we get six times n equal to half of ten plus one times n, which is equal to half of ten times n plus n. After putting the value of n, we get our answer. Similarly, you can find for four, four equal to half of ten minus one. So after putting four equal to half of ten minus one, we get our answer. Similarly, you can find this type of rule for other numbers like seven, three, etc. There are also some rule for squares. Let's talk about two-digit number for those number whose second digit is five. So we can write our number as n equal to a times ten plus five. For example, thirty-five equal to three times ten plus five. Now. Square n, so we get whole square of a times ten plus five, which is equal to a times a plus one times hundred plus twenty five. Now, for those number whose first digit is five, n equal to five times ten plus a. Now, whole square of n equal to five times ten plus a whole square. So after solving, we get twenty five plus a. Times hundred plus a square. By putting the value of a, you can find the square of numbers whose first or last digit is five. Now, special rule for multiplication. A B times a ten minus b, which is equal to a times a plus one, and b times ten minus b. After opening a B. A times ten minus b, and after solving it, we get our answer, which is a times a plus one times hundred plus b times ten minus b. Let's take an example. Thirty-two times thirty-eight. Here, first digit of both number is same, and ten minus two we get eight. Now, we multiply eight with two, we get sixteen. Now increase three by one, we get four, and four times three is twelve. So our answer is twelve sixteen. Let's take another example: one one three times one one seven. Here first two numbers are same, and ten minus three is seven. Now we have to multiply seven and three, we get twenty one, and now increase eleven by one. We get twelve, so twelve time eleven is one hundred thirty-two. So we get one three two two one as our answer.